Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 17. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Let's go. Time to show the AC who's boss, and it's going to be this guy. Oh, this is a short race, so this gives us a chance of uh, getting under one minute. Should easily be able to get under a minute with this thing. Especially against an AC. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wide there. We're a mile away. We got junctions and a green truck in the way. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Little sing song for this race because we're uh, destroying the AC now. There we go. That's how it's done. Not quite under a minute, but still, that, that's not important. We came first. Coming first is the important thing. Test drive unlimited. I'm going to say that on every single loading screen. I literally am. It's ridiculous. Test drive unlimited. No, but uh, next up is the Shelby Daytona. The one that we drove in the last club. The Muscle Car Club. That car was a quite powerful. It has top speed, but it was very slow to get up there. Um, whereas this car will get to that top speed probably in half the time. Nice. Right, we're going to do a hop, skip, and a jump to the other side. The car's going quick. I will give it to it. By doing that hop, skip, and jump, we've actually cut out oh, quite a large section. Because that car, one, had to go wide there, and two, has to take that corner. A little bit more distance you have to cover there. Off the brakes. And this looks like a highway or a dual carriageway of sorts. I love dual carriageways. There's enough space for a car to weave in and out of traffic. Uh, the van moved. Didn't quite predict that, but reacted accordingly. By, uh, instead of weaving to the right of it, just continuing straight on. Okay, yeah. Um, that was my fault. I didn't realise how tight that corner was. Oh, it's not that one. It's this junction. Turn right. Sometimes the minimap does throw you off because it's quite far out for a minimap of for racing games. Um, but then again, you're sort of relying on that minimap for your braking distances because you can't see anything. Uh, corners are like hidden, so eh, it's not too much of a problem. There are little things that are annoying about this game, but those little things are made up for it. Because the fact that this game is just so much fun. You can't fault it. There, I can't find anything that makes me hate this game. There is, There are dislikes. Things that aren't great in a racing game. But there are no things in this that I hate. At all. Except maybe the sat-nav voice is a little bit annoying. 
your itinerary has been recalculated. Just say we found you an alternate route or something like that. Something normal. <laughs> Not something fancy. Oh, great. I definitely remember this road, though, on uh, Xbox 360. Mainly because there was a race on this exact road. Like 20 times that I did because I couldn't do it. I was shite. Well, there we go. Roseanne has been defeated. We've got one more car left of Club Stripe. And that is going to be the same as what we're driving right now. Test Drive Unlimited. Here we go. Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. It's a concept car. It's special. I feel like we're going to have to go to the concept club as well. Uh, see how that is. Oh, we're starting in the same spot we finished on the uh, last club. Nice. And off we go. 5.8 miles. Moana. We're in Ala Moana. And we're now back at Sand Island. The fact is, this map has a lot of dead ends. Um, which is odd. Uh, and I don't know if the real map has dead ends like this. But there are a lot of dead ends. At the next intersection, turn right. Ouch. Ouch. The one thing I find really cool about gaming lately is a lot of games are coming to Britain. They've sort of gotten, oh yeah, we're bored of America. Because a lot of games are based in America. Loads of them. Um, so coming to Britain, I think Britain is going to have a phase of all the games being based here for maybe the next three years. And then we won't see any games based in Britain for another 20, probably. But so far, there is a phase, and everywhere is based in Britain. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. There we go, perfect. And across the water... close. Imagine if that car was closer, that would have been like race ruined easily. And there we go. No way! We won a Ford Shelby Cobra concept. Awesome! So we got ourselves a decent car out of that. I don't think the Shelby Cobra concept was even in this club. So that's interesting that we won that. That is very interesting. But very cool at the same time. And there we go. We are the president. Right, so whilst looking for uh, a new car, 
because I don't want to be driving the same car for the same tier over and over again like we did with the Aston and the Alpha. We're looking for a new car and I actually found the concept car, the Chrysler Mi 412, that was overpowered as hell in this game. So uh, to be able to purchase this car, we need to place first in all of the Supercar Series races. So as a mental reminder, to get this car, I need to comp come first in the Supercar Series. So this is like to remind me. But that is the car that I drove all the time because it was overpowered and it was the fastest car in the game. Right, so I think I've made up my choice on what car I want to be driving and it's not this, it's not this. Might be this. In fact, how is the coupe? Okay, so this one has better acceleration. This one is faster top speed. I feel like we could counter the uh, top speed problem. Um, but I do not want... Oh, do I have to have the five spokes? Apparently I do. But I want them blacked out because I have an idea for a color. So we can go for orange or we can go for red. I do like a red Lamborghini. I really do. And here is the interior. And oh my gosh, this is nice. Uh, so what kind of interior looks can we go for? Got a couple of... Can we get red? We can get red all over or red with a bit of black on the chairs. Yeah, why not? We'll get a bit of black. And we're going to buy it. 164,000 credits for that car. Your itinerary is being Club Midship. I'm guessing that's for mid-engined vehicles. Um, so that's going to be cool. And here we go. Here's our new Lambo. Now this is nice. And the fact is, I feel like this car would actually be able to hit its top speed. Um, in fact, it's recommending me to do this race series, so I think we might do this. Um, but first, obviously, need to upgrade the car. But we're going to unlock it and make our way to the upgrade. Oh, and it's a Lamborghini GP. Right, so welcome to Corsa Tecnologia. And we are here with our Lamborghini Gallardo. Yeah, Lamborghini Gallardo Coupe. So we can put in power packs. These are obviously still free because we've won quite a few clubs now. Um, and we could go up to 3.5 second ac acceleration from 0 to 60 with uh, 211 miles an hour top speed. Uh, and I have a feeling this is more believable top speed than the other cars. So um, there's no weight difference between 2 and 3. But um, there's obviously the performance increase by quite a lot. So uh, we're going to go for pack number 3. And there we go. Always go for pack number 3 when it's free. Your itinerary is being and uh, we're going to take part in the Lamborghini GP. So uh, we need to go to challenges. And where are you? Is this you here? Here we go. Okay, so these aren't super long. So uh, I'm safe with that. I'm safe with that. If the races were like they were in that um, touring car thing. Ooh, a bit skeptical on competing in this for now. Uh, but two miles, three laps for the first race. Let's do this. La Lamborghini. That was an Aventador. Here we go, though. Got a nice red Lambo in the back with the blacked out rims. Mainly because I don't like the look of the rims. I'm sorry, but I don't. I don't like the circle spokes, they're... Ugh. Alfa Romeos are the worst because they always have circle spokes and they look disgusting. I prefer stick, normal stick spokes, specifically BBS, because they are just simple and nice to look at. BBS rims are my favourite though, honestly. Oh, come on. Trying to make me look like a bad driver, this Lamborghini is. 
Now, it's actually driving really smoothly. I'm enjoying this. Oh, that was good. This is really good going around these corners. Oh, come on. Nice. Ah. Nice. Look at that. That is insane. This is... What day number is this recorded now? I think it might be day five. So uh, by the time we got to this day, we finished Colin McRae Dirt. And we aren't even going to be like 35% done with this game by the time we've done this. Nice. 91 drift points there. It's a very nice check. Oh no, no, we've gone wide. Not great. It should be quite an easy game to get 100% in. Um, just because of how it's structured. You can just do whatever you want when you want. Um, the games where it's like you have to follow a certain order, it's a little bit more difficult to do 100%. And when it's difficult as well, like Ridge Racer, it's going to be quite difficult to get that 100%. But I never did 100% complete this game, so it would be really nice if, like, getting 100% gives you, like, a special Easter egg car. Um, that would be awesome. But uh, I'm not expecting much from this game, because I sort of know a lot of it anyways. It's just going back through it, playing it again. And here we go, across the finish line. Lamborghini GP2 has been unlocked. Awesome. 29,000 credits. We're going to go gonna go straight to the next event what is the time for me I've got another two hours of recording today I think I'm gonna get loads of videos done today I didn't check how long this race was I just started it oh we got more red Lamborghinis this time they're all red except for one that white one stands out I think we need to crash into it man Rub a bit of red paint on his car. There we go. A little bit more. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I nearly got crashed into by that red Lamborghini in front. That would have been a proper karma bitch moment. Awesome. At the next intersection, turn right. There's a rent a car shop there. Fact is, we've rented a car once and we haven't needed to rent it since. Or we'll rent one since. I feel like we could rent some more cars, but I just don't see the point. I may as well just buy them and own them. Create a garage. I do need to buy a new house though. I've already filled up my uh, eight car garage. I think it's full now, because the amount of cars I got. So uh, that's a whole new garage again. But because of the fact that we've got more uh, money, a lot more money, 
I feel like we could get like one of the million dollar houses um, towards the north. We're definitely going towards the north for the next house. Guaranteed. Um, I'll do a little road trip like off camera between recording sessions and make my way up there towards the north. Oh, here's the V car, rent a car. We've gone past it. But yeah, we need more houses towards the north so that uh, it gives us like a fast travel point for the... The supercar series is all the way at the very top of the map when it starts. There's a lot of cool tracks in this game as well. We haven't gotten uh, to one of the racing tracks yet. But there are a few race tracks. There's one, um, like circle track it just goes in a circle um, and I think it's used more for top speed because it's fairly straight it's not like a very tight corner it's like a gradual corner um, so yeah that should be good for top speed I think awesome that was a good corner there What's it like driving in the interior? We haven't. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is like having your face right up against the wheel. That is not how it would feel like. Here we go, nice. Right, slow down this time. Nice. We got it that time. Perfect. I want Test Drive Solar Crown to be like this game. I want to be able to test cars. Yeah, you have to, that's a mandatory. You need to be able to like test the car before you buy it. But also I want to be able to rent cars. That would be a nice touch as well. Lamborghini GP3 has been unlocked. Let's do it. 39,000 credits for that. Oh yeah, we bought the Lamborghini, so we're not quite near a million anymore. I forgot about that completely. <laughs> Here we go though. 38,000 credits for this one. 2.5 miles per lap. Let's do this. This is good. It's now Team Red against Team White. Or is that... Oh, no, that's Baby Blue. Take some of my red. There we go. Take some more. We need to try and give the other car some red as well. At the next intersection, turn right. No, not quite. You're going to take my red? Here you go. Take some red. Take some red Lamborghini. Reds always win. To be fair, the other red Lamborghini is also miles behind as well. So, uh, can't really use that as an excuse anymore. This is also the, uh, cover car as well, I think. The Gallardo. I'm pretty sure the Gallardo is a cover car, not the Murcielago. Because there's also the uh, Merchia Lago in this game as well. Ah! Okay, there we go. Nice! Right, coming on to the second lap now. Those laps were a little bit longer than the uh, other races that we've done for the Lamborghini GP. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. There we go. Good. GG's to me. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. There we go. Nice. Do 
Perfect. Ah, nearly. Perfect. 232.7. That's good. And across the line. Lap number three. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Nice. There are so many bridges and so many like waterways and everything in this map. It's insane. Hawaii is such an exotic country. Is it a country or an island? No, it's an island, isn't it? Yeah. It's an exotic island. It's beautiful. But they really managed to capture that beauty in this game, even with, quite frankly, pretty restrictive hardware. They managed to do it. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. There should also be absolutely no reason why Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown isn't gonna look good. It should look amazing. There we go, across the line. We've won a Lamborghini Miura P400 SV. We'll deliver it after you make some room for it. Okay, cool, nice. We got a Miura now. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And the next race is seven miles away, lovely. Right, so we are going back towards uh, E-Class vehicles now. Uh, and we are gonna be taking the Alfa Romeo, again, as always. Oh no. Okay, we got a two-star cop level. Crashed a couple too many times. What's this? House for sale. Fancy. But not interested right now. Because we're going to be doing this. Time trial with the Alfa Romeo. You have reached your destination. Southeast Snake, this is called. I remember this track very well. Because uh, it took me a very long time to do it. For some reason. Uh, so we're going to... Oh, we have a different choice of vehicles as well. I could upgrade those, but uh, we're going to be taking Alpha. 255 is our time to beat. Six miles this is as well. Big race. Let's do this. And off we go. This is awesome. Good start so far. Uh, this time trial was basically put in so that while you were in the city, this would be like the last event you would end up doing. And uh, it was a race to take you to the other end of the map. Uh, towards the corner where a lot of the D-class events were. Um, but we've sort of done these races in a mishmash order. Nice. Got to third checkpoint. This is weird having the max speed now like 160 miles an hour. This is like our cruising speed in the other cars that we've been driving. Just cruising along at 160. This is now top speed. High speed racing. And this car we didn't even hit uh, 200 miles in. Interesting. Okay. the interior like of this? Oh yeah, I remember now. Quite fancy. I do like the interior of Alfa Romeo's. They are nice. But the wheels that they choose for their cars are disgusting. BBS rims any day of the week. I will pick. If you gave me a choice of any rims and BBS was in that lineup, instantly pick BBS no matter what. I just love the style of BBS rims. 
And that's not great. That's a crash, but I have a feeling that E event sort of compensated for that. We've got a minute. Seconds. No, 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 what are you doing? Oh my gosh, that's ruined my race. Twenty seconds. Depends how far it is when we get to here. We may make it. Yeah, we'll make it. Okay. Just about. That is six miles completed in two minutes, 48 seconds. That is a decent time. Ta-da. At 24,000 credits. Awesome. Nice little paycheck there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Where about we heading to next then? Um, I want to do another championship. And I feel like I've seen one up towards the north here. Uh, or towards the west, east, east side. Here. Time trial. Uh, or speed traps, and this is D-class restriction. So let's, um, we can fast travel to the round, the surrounding road of this event, and you're not working. There we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button, or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.